Welcome to Selections of the Hidden Words by Baha'u'llah, Vegetarian, from the Persian, Passages 18 to 44, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom. Born in 1817 in Tehran, Persia, or present-day Iran, Lord Baha'u'llah, Vegetarian, was the enlightened prophet and founder of the Baha'i faith. Throughout his life, Lord Baha'u'llah, the Divine Educator, endured persecution, imprisonment, confinement with heavy chains, and exile for many years for spreading God's messages. He and his teachings are believed to be prophesied in Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and other religions. The Arabic word Baha means glory or splendor. The Baha'i faith rests on three main concepts, also known as the three onenesses unity of God, unity of religion, and unity of humankind. These concepts emphasize that while the names for God as well as religions and cultures may differ, all are equal and ultimately united as one. Today, approximately 7 million people throughout the world adhere to the Baha'i faith. Its scriptures have been translated into over 800 languages with Baha'i houses of worship in every corner of the globe. The Baha'i faith envisions an ideal society which can be achieved through principles such as gender equality, human equality, harmony between religion and science, universal educational opportunity, judicious world government, and the elimination of extremes of wealth and poverty. Baha'i followers see this noble society as a real goal to be pursued in everyday life. Today, we will share some passages from the Hidden Words by Lord Baha'u'llah, Vegetarian, and translated by Shoghi Effendi, Vegetarian. It is a work partly in Arabic and partly in Persian, consisting of short aphorisms revealed by the enlightened prophet while he walked alongside the riverbank during his exile in Baghdad. Part 2 From the Persian, Passage 18 O ye dwellers in the highest paradise, proclaim unto the children of assurance that within the realms of holiness, near unto the celestial paradise, a new garden has appeared, round which circle the denizens of the realm on high and the immortal dwellers of the exalted paradise. Strive, then, that ye may attain that station, that ye may unravel the mysteries of love from its wind flowers and learn the secret of divine and consummate wisdom from its eternal fruits, so laced are the eyes of them that enter and abide therein. Passage 19 O my friends, have ye forgotten that true and radiant morn, when in those hallowed and blessed surroundings, ye were all gathered in my presence beneath the shade of the tree of life, which is planted in the all-glorious paradise, O struck, ye listened as I gave utterance to these three most holy words. O friends, prefer not your will to mine, never desire that which I have not desired for you, and approach me not with lifeless hearts, defiled with worldly desires and cravings. Would ye but sanctify your souls, ye would at this present hour recall that place and those surroundings and the truth of my utterance should be made evident unto all of you. In the eighth of the most holy lines, in the fifth tablet of Paradise, he says, Passage 20 O ye that are lying as dead on the couch of heedlessness, ages have passed and your precious lives are well near ended, yet not a single breath of purity has reached our court of holiness from you. Do immersed in the ocean of misbelief, yet with your lips ye profess the one true faith of God. Him whom I abhor ye have loved, and of my fall ye have made a friend. Notwithstanding, ye walk on my earth complacent and self-satisfied, heedless that my earth is weary of you and everything within it shuns you. Were ye but to open your eyes, ye would, in truth, prefer myriad griefs unto this joy, and would count death itself better than this life. Passage 
Passage 21 O moving form of dust, I desire communion with thee, but thou would put no trust in me. The sword of thy rebellion has felled the tree of thy hope. At all times I am near unto thee, but thou art ever far from me. Imperishable glory I have chosen for thee, yet boundless shame thou hast chosen for thyself. While there is yet time, return, and lose not thy chance. Passage 22 O son of desire, the learned and the wise have for long years striven and failed to attain the presence of the old glorious they have spent their lives in search of him yet did not behold the beauty of his countenance thou without the least effort did attain thy goal and without search has obtained the object of thy quest yet notwithstanding thou did remain so wrapped in the veil of self that Thine eyes beheld not the beauty of the Beloved, nor did thy hand touch the hem of his robe. Ye that have eyes, behold and wonder. Passage 23 All dwellers in the city of love, mortal blasts have beset the everlasting candle, and the beauty of the celestial youth is veiled in the darkness of dust. The chief of the monarchs of love is wronged by the people of tyranny, and the dove of holiness lies present in the talons of owls. The dwellers in the pavilion of glory and the celestial conquerors bewail and lament, while ye repose in the realm of negligence and esteem yourselves as of the true friends. How vain are your imaginings! Passage 25 O ye, seeming fair yet inwardly foul, Ye are like clear but bitter water, which to outward seeming is crystal pure, but of which, when tested by the divine assayer, not a drop is accepted. Yea, the sunbeam falls alike upon the dust and the mirror, yet differ they in reflection even as does the star from the earth. Nay, immeasurable is the difference. Passage 26 O my friend in word, Ponder a while, have thou ever heard that friend and foe should abide in one heart? Cast out then the stranger, that the friend may enter his home. Passage 27 O son of dust, all that is in heaven and earth I have ordained for thee, except the human heart, which I have made the habitation of my beauty and glory. Yet thou did give my home and dwelling to another than me, and whenever the manifestation of my holiness sought his own abode, a stranger found he there, and homeless, hastened unto the sanctuary of the Beloved. Notwithstanding, I have concealed thy secret and desired not thy shame. Passage 28 O essence of desire, at many a dawn have I turned from the realms of the placeless unto thine abode, and found thee on the bed of ease, busy with others than myself. Thereupon, even as the flesh of the spirit, I returned to the realms of celestial glory, and breathed it not in my retreats above unto the hosts of holiness. For more information, please visit Bahai.org